Hey, welcome to a, another edition of Kyle Meredith with. It's the interview series presented by WFPK at WFPK.org. Consequence and the Consequence Podcast Network. Thanks as always for making your way here and checking out the series. You know what to do. If you like what you see, what you hear, hit that subscribe button. We put out three new interviews every single week. So it's a great way to keep up with all of your favorite artists. And I am so excited today to be talking with Avril Lavigne. Hello. Hello. First off, you got this new record. It's called Love Sucks. And every single song on here is like a single. It's like every every one of the songs could be the lead single. This is kind of an incredible record. Congratulations. Well, thank you for saying that. <laughs> that's, that's like a really nice thing to hear. Um, I'm really proud of all the songs. And I did write like 30 plus songs. So I had a ton to pick from and put my favorites on here. But yeah, I'm really excited for that for this album Love Sucks. I'm, I'm amped on it. Yeah. So so here you are, you know, with a sound that you know, a lot of us are familiar with you. Some of us have been wanting you to, to try out again. When did you know that you were going to do this record? Uh, I guess in 2020 I, I i had a conversation with travis barker he's like what are you doing are you writing songs like let's get together and then i linked up with mod son and john feldman started writing with them and at the time like i didn't have a record label and or managers and i just like all these i was connecting with all these people and friends in the scene and um it just felt like a great time for me to like make this type of record. I feel like this is a record I've always wanted to make. Yeah, that's 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 interesting too because again, here you are with you know it's it's a very strong pop punk record, like almost front to back yeah. entirely. So when you're going into these this, this type of songs, when you're writing the songs for the album, like what was that process like? Immediately knowing yeah. you were going to lean into that. Yeah, like I like I was saying, like I felt like my had, tour had been canceled because of the pandemic, and we're all like sitting at home. And I was realizing how much I love playing live and thinking about the tour and the energy and the energy of like all of my shows throughout the years. And this is like my seventh album, so um, just all of my concerts, it just has this like feeling like this energy in my live shows and like that's kind of what this body of work is like I feel like these songs are meant for like one of my shows live um and um yeah and conceptually love sucks is the album title but that's also the title of one of the one of the first songs that I wrote for this album and because like that's how I was feeling at the time I was like over love I was like burnt out on it and I was like okay um and and that was like my headspace that I was in so I wrote love sucks and then I talked to the guys in the studio and we kind of like tapped into all that but like you were saying like it kind of has sort of like one one tone through this whole album and it's just like loud guitars not holding back the songs are anthemic um writing from like my perspective a female's perspective i feel like um the songs are empowering and um and it's the album's really lighthearted and a ton of fun yeah it's interesting i was uh you know checking out social media's twitters and yours and of course i end up on mod sons as well you know looking at the videos but there's there's a line on there about talking about falling for each other during the record and i thought what an inst interesting juxtaposition i don't know if that's the right word but uh to to be writing you know an album called love sucks and at the same time maybe experiencing something new like like what was that like i mean <laughs> it was something i tried to like i like what okay like i <laughs> I met Maude and I was like actually telling him and Feldy, like, I was like, this is where I'm at. I'm over love. Like, I need a minute. I need a break. Like, I'm just going to focus on me. And we're like writing about it. But then like pretty much immediately, like Maude and I had a connection and we started dating and like couldn't really help it. But like, I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna go with it. This is fun, it feels good. And like, we all just like had a blast together. And so yeah, like during that process, like, you know, then I ended up in a relationship and you, and there are then a couple songs on the album where I open up and like hit tap into a different emotion and become more vulnerable in like the one 
kind of like mellow balladish song called Dare to Love. Mm -hmm. And that's like a song that I wrote when I was going through that. Um, and it was like actually really hard for me to kind of go there again. Cause I was just so just like over it. And like, um, I really, I guess had my walls up. Like, why wouldn't I though? I don't blame myself for some of the stuff I've been through and in love and all and the ups and downs. And, um, but ultimately like, yeah, I do want to be in love and in a relationship. And so like, there's like a couple love songs then after that um, came to life <laughs> on the yeah. record. <laughs> well, Dare to Love, especially, yeah, it, it does stand out because it gives that break. I mean, when it hits, because it sounds different, it does remind me a little bit of what you did maybe on the last record, you know, yeah. it, the, the bridge in that way. But, but as you talk about like around 30 songs, like were, were there more of those that, um, sort of broke the, the the sound and that's why you didn't shift towards them no but they were kind of like all like i could have made a double album with wow. this whole spirit and that was my plan and that's what i wanted to do um and i have some really uh, some favorites that didn't even make the like i had literally could put out another record right after this one and I, i'm in love with all of the songs um but yeah, Dare to Love Me, I didn't want to put on this record. <laughs> I was like, I don't like really want to do this. And the guys loved it. And they're like, this is our favorite song. You have to put this on the record. And I was like, fine, you win. <laughs> but I was just like in a different place. I was just like, you know what? It's I just want to. The last album was very just like like a lot of ballads. It was really deep. It was really emotional and in some ways like heavy and like I did what I needed to do for me at that point in my life, like creatively. And then like, I was just like, I'm here. I want to have fun. I want to rock. I don't want to play. I can't wait to go out on tour. And um, these songs have just like so much energy and their anthems. And yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you had said even there, there's, you know, beyond just love sucks and breakups and stuff like that. You know, there is that standing up for yourself, the empowerment part of it. Like you, that part didn't have to be there and you chose that to be there. And I think that's important that you're, you're highlighting that too. When you're writing those songs, like, is that something that you, you say, but you know, there has to be the strong part of me in these songs or, or is that something that just came natural? That's something that comes natural and that I feel like has stuck with me with all of my songs. And um, the songs are empowering. Like, like bite me the first single. It's like, you know, knowing when to say no it's like a guy who's coming back wants a second chance and you you know having like knowing your self-worth and um being able to say no to that but it's also like fun because it's like yeah and i'm gonna be the one who got away <laughs> Wait, and there's there's that interesting with, with the uh the track with uh, machine gun kelly how you do the back and forth on that. I think that's really one of the interesting parts because for as much as you give your point of view, you open it up to, you know, every story or every every argument has two stories or whatever the phrase is. Yes, absolutely. I mean, it's it's really funny because like I'm talking, singing about how like boys lie and like, you know, complaining about men. And he's like, wait a minute, bitch, because girls lie too. <laughs> So it's kind of genius. It's like a duet, but we get to sing back and forth at each other. And it has like a truthful message like that we all go through. And um, and just, again, like make it super lighthearted. And it is what it is. Like yeah. love is not easy. Relationships are not easy. We all know that. We're all out here just trying to do our best. Yeah. Well, it's fun. I mean, the, the whole record, like I said, it goes through that. And, and, and again, to hit on that sound again, for you coming back specifically to this, you know, after so long, is it, is it like slipping into an old outfit or is it brand new clothes that just harken back to the day? I feel like myself and like, I feel like when I was discovering myself musically, probably like well, like my first year of high school and like buying CDs for the first time and discovering like other bands and and like really like figuring out what I liked musically and stuff like I was gravitating towards like bands with like that were a little more um guitar driven rock and roll like uh Blink-182 and Green Day, Goo Goo Dolls, Matchbox 20 um and 
I wanted to play guitar and um, I wanted to write my songs. And so that was the music that I really, as a young teenager, started to probably shape me as an artist. Um, and so making an album that's, you know, whatever you want to call it, pop rock, pop punk, guitar, heavy guitars, live drums, it's like, like, this is so me. Like, this is what I love. This is like, um, this is the, the attitude and spirit you hear on like all my concerts live. And so it felt, it was just like easy. And like working with this group of guys, these musicians from this scene that I collaborated with on the album, it was just so effortless. Like, I felt like everyone just totally knew me. I felt like I was hanging out with a group of like, people that I went to high school with, like we like all just kind of can relate to each other. We come from the same sort of like type of background and they all just like, I felt like we all comp complimented each other and they all really got me and it was just like easy. That yeah. definitely the most fun. <laughs> well, I hadn't looked at the track list. Which is why there's two albums. <laughs> oh, right. Eventually, <laughs> hopefully, yes. Because we were done the first one, and I was like, "No, no, 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 no! This is way too much fun." And we were all like, "No, let's just keep going." Like, I, I was like, "I never want this experience to end." <laughs> was interesting too, because you know, knowing that you were working with Travis on here, and then hearing the sounds, I hadn't looked at the track list, and I thought, "Yeah, it's probably inescapable that that I'm going to think about Blink One Eighty Two and, and with some of the songs. Like that sound is there." And I thought, oh, wouldn't it be great if Mark was on here? And then, oh my God, Mark is on here. That's his voice. You've got him on Mark's song. Tell me about what, how that happened. And, and well, tell me anything about that. And just so cool. Like one of the coolest sessions. Like I was like, I was like, I'll admit, like I was like fangirling out of it. Like I looked at Maude and Feldy and I was like, I'm freaking out. Like, can I never do that? I was like, this is amazing. Like, so he uh, he hit up Feldy and was like wanting to do write a song. And at the time we had to write it on Zoom uh, because of the pandemic. And um, and working with him was an amazing experience. I watched him um, just like write his parts, come up with his parts, record his parts. Like he's like a great engineer, songwriter, producer, like performer, player, like he does it all. And uh, so we wrote a fun song together and I'm really stoked to have a collaboration with him. Yeah, well, especially like, this is the first time we've been able to hear Mark, you know, since he recovered, since he came back. Like that was, yeah. it was like a, I don't know what to say a hallelujah moment or whatever, but it was a big moment. Absolutely. And like, we had actually written this song and worked on it before he went through that too. So, but I'm just so happy to see him like back and like working and like, I just did an interview with him the other day. So yeah, I have so much love and respect for him. Yeah. Well, with this all coming at the same time, well-timed, whether it was meant to be or not on the 20th anniversary of that first record of Let's Go, did you... Did you ever take the opportunity to have any of these songs, like speak to those other, other songs, like, you know, sequels, continuations, whatever you want to call it, but, but that opportunity was there if you wanted it. Like, um, sorry, what do you mean? Like, I don't know, like, um, well, for one, when I heard Deja Vu, and you, you like I'm taking the line out of context, but you said I sang these songs. Uh, I, I, I sang this song a thousand times. Yeah. And I thought, oh, if you wanted to, any of these songs, any of these new songs could reference that record and, and those songs. Yeah. And wouldn't that be a great link? But uh, but I don't know if, if that was even something on your mind. Um, no, that's like a really good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Third album. <laughs> I think like songs like Boys Lie is like a bit of a nod to Skater Boy with the B.O.I. Yeah. Um, and then there are a couple, like you just reminded me that Deja Vu, there's so many songs I kind of forgot Deja Vu was on this record. Yeah. So there are a couple of songs that I did kind of like go back and like reference like being 16 and in high school and stuff, but that's not on this album. And I think I'm going to save it for the Skater Boy movie that I'm working on right now. Right. Oh, I, I remember hearing about that. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So what's 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 the news on that? You, you've this is a this is a movie that like takes yeah. the song so, further or what? 
No, it's just like based on the storyline of the film pretty much and at the moment and writing the script at the moment and working with somebody super talented, can't like say their name yet, but I'm really excited. And yeah, turning Skater Boy into a movie. And when I did, when I had an interview with Mark Hoppus the other day, I was like, you have to make it an appearance in the film. And he told me he would. So when you I say movie like, yeah. though, you're, you're talking like feature, you're not talking like extended music video, right? No, a real film. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool. And that's, yeah, that's going to be fun. Like I'm producing it, like, and like helping develop it. <laughs> yeah. So, so I, I would just ask real quick then with, with, you know, as we talk about it being the 20th anniversary, I'm sure this tour is going to be all about love sucks. Sure. But, but are you taking moments? Is there special anniversary celebrations to go along with this? So like um, the anniversary, the 20th anniversary is like June 4th. And I think June 3rd, I'm doing like the getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And we'll be celebrating around that. And then I think like, I have to figure that out. I yeah. have to like either like on the tour because I'm touring this year. I'm like either like do I start playing more songs also from the first album, or maybe I'll just have some shows in some like like more intimate venues that are just like just the first album. So yeah, I'll be celebrating for yeah. sure. Yeah, when I went back to listen to that, you know, for fun, it's a record I've heard so many times anyway, but kind of listening with it with, you know, the lens of this interview and thinking, you know, for what people talked about your sound back then, like this, rec like, because you had, you actually did have other sounds, you had lots of sounds present on Let's Go, you know, I look back at Tomorrow Comes to Mind, Unwanted, you know, stuff like that, like Love Sucks actually has more of that than Let's Go did, which mm -hmm. is fun. Mm -hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, I feel like the first album and like a lot of my albums and my music is diverse. Like, I love nothing more than a, a loud, distorted guitar and like rock music, rock influenced, inspired music and doing that on stage. But I also love to switch it up with like a gnarly, emotional, like heartfelt ballad every now and then. Like, um my song i'm with you from my first album it's just like it's a really magical song it's like emotional and when i perform that on stage like i can't like the audience's reaction it's just so incredible like at my show to see people go from like moshing like raging rocking out fist pumping to crying and like and like that's so incredible as a songwriter to see people go like have be attached to the songs have memories with it to relate to it with their own personal stories in their life even though i wrote about, about something different in mine and that's the power of music yeah well you talk about that touring and i'll, I'll close with this too but uh one of those stops it looks like is that festival that everybody's talking about though when we were young which what an amazing lineup as we talk about this type of music you know coming around uh yeah. <laughs> no, I'm so excited to play this festival in Vegas, the When We Were Young Festival. Like, I'm super amped just to like hang out with all these cool bands, see some friends and music, and just get back up on stage and do my thing. Yeah, well, I am so looking forward to hearing how these new songs on Love Sucks comes to life, and eventually maybe another album of this type of stuff too. But uh, because Hell yeah, you've, yeah, you've whetted our appetites anyway. I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um congratulations on this it's so great to have another record from you it always is and avril thank you so much for taking the time to talk about it thank you so much all right we'll see you around okay bye